number one. The 1953 Corvette. Oh, now we're talking. The C1 Corvette perfectly embodies the bold style of mid-century America. Its molded dash, chrome-trimmed gauges, and seats integrated into the rear deck make later vets almost low rent. Number two, the 1953 Citroen DS. The crown jewel of Flaminio Bartoni's DS interior design is, of course, the elegant single-spoke steering wheel. Pair the steering wheel with that wonderful dash and overstuffed seats make the Citroen a wonderful place to spend time. Now, isn't she a beauty? Number three, the 1963 Mercedes 600. Between the rear-facing seats, wood trim, carpet, and TV, the 600's interior was more like a well-designed living room than a back seat. I could just move here once my rent is up. Number four, the 1978 Cadillac Eldorado Buritz. You get the sense that Cadillac was inspired by a smoking lounge more than anything else when designing the 78 Eldorado Buritz. If only they still made seats this plush. If only. Number 5. The 2018 Mercedes Maybach S650. Mercedes does an outstanding job of making all of its cars seem luxurious no matter the price point. They could sell it for $10 million and I'd still bring all of my life savings to make up 1% of the price tag. However, the level of modern luxury found in the current run of my box is on another level. You should wait for it. If you have gotten this far in the video, it can only mean two things. One, you love cars. Two, you love the video. So smash the like button. Also, hit that big red button below to subscribe to our channel. Now, I love the idea of having more than enough Netflix TV shows and movies to stream. And I know you do too. Don't we all wish there was a way we could access Netflix shows from anywhere in the world? Hmm, if only there was a way. Oh, yeah, there is. Ever heard of ExpressVPN? ExpressVPN will make all of your Netflix dreams come true in a flash. Get access to more Netflix TV shows and movies than you could imagine. Sounds amazing. Link is in the description. Link up, down, or whatever. Just click it. Thanks. Number six, the 2016 Spiker C8 Preliator. When the Preliator came out in 2016, nothing caught the eye other than its amazing interior design. The Preliator showcases an incredible level of detail throughout, but the craftwork of the switchgear on the center dash is second to none. It's as fresh as a baby's butt. Number seven, the 2006 Toyota Century V12. Y you can't say no to wool seats. I don't think I have to say more. Number eight, the 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. A crisp, straightforward dash design paired with tartan seats, all capped off by iconic gullwing doors, is certainly a package befitting of what's considered the world's first supercar. Number nine, a 1934 Bugatti Type 57 Atlantic. The Type 57 Atlantic has been Jean Bugatti's crowning achievement. The wood dash and massive, thin steering wheel wouldn't be out of place on a luxury yacht. Number 10, the 1987 Ferrari F40. The F40 had one job, to go fast around any track. The Spartan focused interior isn't luxurious, but its unhindered purposefulness is where the car's charm lies. It has one heck of a dashboard. Number 11, the 2018 Rolls-Royce Phantom. By now, y'all know that Rolls-Royce isn't known for cutting corners. And whether you're driving the Phantom or being driven in it, you're witness to a cocoon of absolute luxury. Dripping sleekness and suaveness are the realities of a hefty price tag. Number 12, the 2018 Mercedes Maybach G650 Landolit. We promised you a Maybach, you've got a Maybach. The G650 Landolit might be the modern equivalent of the Mercedes 600. It's one of the biggest G-Wagon Mercedes makes, the rear cabin only has two fully reclining seats, and two TVs fitted under a retractable convertible roof. It's over the top in every way. Number 13, the 1992 McLaren F1. Like the F40, the McLaren F1 was designed to be the ultimate supercar. Unlike the F40 though, the F1 had a wafer for thin center mounted carbon fiber driver seat flanked by two passenger seats. So you could say that the McLaren is the most practical of the two. Number 14, the 2017 Bentley Bentayga. As the brand's first SUV, it beautifully translates Bentley's passion for driver pampering with passenger creature comforts and ritzy appointments. However, the $160,000 Breitling Mulliner Turbulent Dash Clock takes the cake. 
Number 15. The Alfa Romeo Tipo 33 Stradale. Born as a race car first, the Tipo 33 Stradale finds itself in the same group as the McLaren and Ferrari F40. But even without the outright performance as the main goal, Alfa still went out of its way to make the Stradale's interior gorgeous. You could run your hand across the textured metal dash all day. Its centered mountain Jeger clock is most certainly the crown jewel. Number 16. The Toyota MK4 Supra. Yeah, I know, no one was expecting an everyday Jack Toyota on a top interior list, but I think it's really cool. The iconic fourth generation Toyota Supra was mainly known for its legendary 2JZ GTE engine. Tales of 1,000 horsepower Supras will live on, but we already forget just how good the rest of the car was. It was a more than competent sports car on the road and track, and it had a great interior. What Toyota and BMW forgot about when building the new Supra is how cockpit-like the MK4 Supra's interior is. It featured a dashboard area that curved around to become the center console and put the manual gear shift in precisely the right place. When we look at the interior of the new Supra, it lacks the style and hunkered down feeling of its predecessor. Number 17. The Lexus LS400. The Lexus LS400 has developed a reputation for clockwork-like reliability, but its crowning glory is the interior. It doesn't look anything special now, but the materials were top-notch and incredibly refined. The Lexus LS400 also introduced the world to the power tilt and telescopic steering column with a position memory feature and power adjustable shoulder belt anchor points. Number 18. The Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. The interior of the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR was as close to a race car cockpit as you could get in the 1990s, and that's because it was built to homologate the FIA GT championship race cars. Unlike a race car, though, it was upholstered in leather to go with lashings of Alcantara as well as air conditioning should you option it. There might have been more stylish car interiors in the 1990s, but this was like sitting in a comfortable race car. Until you drove it down the road on its race car suspension, of course. Number 19, the Rolls-Royce Silver Spur 2. This 1993 luxury vehicle features thick leather seats, burl wood on the door panels, dashboard, and center console, and fold-down burl trim trays in the back. Amazingly, this model has TV screens mounted in the back of the headrest from the factory. Number 20, the Gordon Murray Automotive T.50. The T.50 is essentially the McLaren F1 Reborn. That means a naturally aspirated V12 engine, a manual transmission, world-class driving dynamics, and a wild three-seat interior with a central driver's seat. The coolest new car interior out right now? Probably. Number 21. The Honda E. Though Honda has no plans to sell its adorable E hatchback in the US, we still think it deserves a spot on the list. The interior is simplistic and easy to look at with plenty of screens and wood trim that brings it all together. It gives off a mini cinema vibe. Number 22, the Lamborghini Sion. The Sion is Lamborghini's latest hypercar, packing 819 horsepower thanks to the supercapacitor based hybrid tech and a V12. It uses the latest iteration of the company's aggressive interior design with a vertical mounted touchscreen and a starter button shrouded in a red flip up cover, not unlike a launch button. Number 23, the BMW 8 Series. The 8 Series is back and brings a new interior with it. It's typical BMW, which isn't a bad thing, and everything is centered around the driver, which makes sense for a two-door GT car. Number 24, the Lincoln Navigator. The Navigator is the perfect vehicle for moving people or towing things in total comfort, and a lot of that has to do with its lovely interior. There's a wide range of tech features, a massive center console, and plenty of soft leather surfaces. Number 25, the Audi A8L. The new A8's cabin is a lovely place to spend time, but the level of tech used in this car is both the cake and the icing. First, the gauge cluster is fully digital and the dashboard consists of two massive touchscreens that control everything in the car. Higher trim level cars even get a removable tablet in the back seat to control the climate and media. Number 26, the Bugatti Chiron. The Chiron's interior is much simpler than a lot of the cars on this list, and that's not a bad thing. There's no big infotainment screen or sea of buttons to distract you from the road. All of the controls are simple and elegantly laid out. Way to go. Number 27, the Volvo XC90. 
Volvo is famous for having some of the most comfortable seats in the game, and the XC90 is no different. Pair that with a minimalistic yet usable dash setup, and you've got yourself one of the best SUV interiors out there. Number 28, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Whether you go coupe, sedan, or convertible, the S-Class provides one of the most luxurious, well-appointed cabins on the market. The seats are impeccable, and the dual digital screens provide all the tech-related features you could ever ask for. A new version is due to be out soon, and it looks even better. Number 29, the Mazda MX-5 Miata. Nowadays, it seems like every new car has too many buttons, features, and options, leaving the driver overwhelmed. The Miata has been a great example of a simple interior done right. The seating position is perfect, and the gear selector falls comfortably into place. Number 30, the Tesla Model S. Love him or hate him, Elon Musk has an eye for cool interior. The gauge cluster is digital, and the entire center dash is occupied by a massive touchscreen that controls everything from navigation to climate control. Number 31, the McLaren 720S. McLaren has always taken a minimalistic approach to its interiors, and the cabin in the 720S is its best yet. All the controls are clear and concise and feel great to the touch. Plus, there's that sweet two-way folding gauge cluster. Number 32, the McLaren Speedtail. Like the T.50, the McLaren Speedtail has a center driver seating position with two passenger seats on either side, just like the legendary F1. There's no way it shouldn't be included on this list. Number 33, the Bentley Continental GT. The Continental GT looks stunning inside and out, but the most interesting part of the car is the rotating center display. It could switch between a blank panel or three analog style gauges when not in use. Now that is just cool. Number 34, the Toyota Century. The Toyota Century is a Japan only affair, but we still think it deserves a spot on this list. What other super luxury car out there can you get with cloth seats? Number 35, the Lexus LC500. That wonderful V8 drivetrain and those stunning looks aren't the only things we love about the LC500. The interior is comfortable and welcoming, a great place to spend a long road trip. The only thing that I don't like is the infotainment system. Meh. Number 36, the Audi RS6 Avant. Pretty much any car in Audi's current RS lineup would fit on this list. Audi's performance division has a habit of designing nice cabins. We just chose the RS6 Avant because it's the latest and greatest. Number 37, the Porsche 911. This Porsche's interior design checks pretty much all of the boxes. The driver has a perfect seating position and visibility is great. The new digital dash is modern yet traditional. And we're curious to see what a stick shift lever would look like in here. Number 38, the De Tomaso P72. The Tomato, uh, sorry, the Tomaso has one of the coolest car interiors you could find today. Its five display dashboard gauge is the real game changer. Number 39, the Audi A3. The Audi A3 is that kid in class that everyone hates because he's the teacher's pet. If you love Audi's signature minimalist aesthetics but can't swing an A8 or even an A4, you're still in luck. Number 40, the Kia Cadenza. The Cadenza is the most under-the-radar car in the Kia lineup, honestly, but it's definitely on our radar. So what do you think about our list? Let's hear it in the comments section. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more cool videos like this.